Hey guys, what's going on? Third Shit Reactions here. I'm Shane and I'm back with She-Hulk. Episode 5. One of my best friends called me after the last episode to tell me how much he hated it. And it's one big misstep by Marvel. I don't think it's a misstep yet. It's definitely not one of my favorite shows. But I will say that the last episode with Donnie Blaze versus Wong was my favorite thing ever. Spotlighting once again that Jennifer Walters isn't the most interesting character in her show. When you have such a fun, lovable character like Wong, I personally don't need to see uh, my Marvel heroes, and I know she doesn't claim to be a hero, be on Tinder swiping and having one night stands with guys. I don't really need them twerking with Megan the Stallion, but you know, I know there's a lot of people who like her and they thought it was like a fun, it's definitely a good get. It's like a funny thing. It's kind of like a, that one after credit scene and we had Howard the Duck. That was funny. I didn't need it, but it, it was funny. One thing I don't need is for the show to give me like a shitty male character coming up to her in a bar and using some really sleazy line. I think the show's writers try to balance out the men being kind of dim-witted by giving us Madison King. But the problem is, at least on my second rewatch of the show when I was editing it, was Madison King became likable. So much that there is this social uh, media kind of support for her character. And she has been interviewed talking about the support she's gotten. And yeah, she's like kind of that, you know, that girl who has a big heart, is really sweet, gets her heart broken all the time, gets a little too drunk at parties, but she's a sweetheart. Like that's the kind of girl she is. And I actually like Madison King for it. I think the writers need to show kind of both sides of the coin. And you know, some people might say, no, because of the tyrannical patriarchy that's went on for thousands of years, now we're showing our side of the coin. I, I guess I don't really believe that. I don't really think that's actually progressive. I think it's the opposite. I don't want to complain about the show anymore. I love the last episode. I hope we see more of Donnie Blaze. Big question going forward, is Daredevil going to make an appearance? Some of my friends are actually detractors, like get them back on board because I don't want to shit on a show. It's not who I am, it's not what this channel is. So I hope I can enjoy this next one as much as I enjoyed the last one. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna talk about the things I don't like because there's a lot to like. And if you wanna see the full length, make sure you go to our Patreon. It's all gonna be on there and all its glory. Go there now or jump in it. <laughs> How'd I get to my house? Huh, I don't know. She-Hulk is it's ready, it's prime, I got lights. We got a green light? Okay, let's do this. Guys, sorry, my file wasn't compatible and I didn't have the internet, so I had to relocate to my actual house. So I am gonna jump into She-Hulk. I'm excited. Chad! Oh, it's up. Chad! What are you doing? You oh my god. This woman, Titania, has trademarked my name. Well, that's dumb. Why would you let her do that? I didn't let her, Chad. Huh. You know, Jen. I love Chad. I'm so happy he's back. Whoever gets there first gets it, you know? So if you would have done yours first, then she would have been able to find that. You know. She Hulk by Titania. Thank you. I'm so glad Chad is back. Chad is back. Snake venom lip plumber. She's literally selling snake oil. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little child. But the line starts way back there. I don't want to cut. I want you to stop take all of this down. Get over it, Jennifer. The name's She-Hulk. It's mine. Excuse me. Oh. Are you? Could you take a photo of us? Oh my god, yes. No. Back up a little bit. Just give me some Please. space. Dude, I would make an appearance as the She-Hulk and tell them what's going on. I'm still Jennifer Walters. She-Hulk is just a thing that happened to me. That is a really good perspective to have. I do admit, though, there are parts of it that are interesting. Okay, you're not done. Like the amazing hair, no hangover, being able to walk home at night with headphones on without being afraid. <laughs> and who needs a different name? Okay. So you're not mad at the name she holds? No. No, I don't care about it. Okay. So you're totally over it? Yeah. Like the most over it. You're crushing your stapler. What? Will you stand in line with me? Waiting for a sneaker drop. <laughs> the Iron Man 3s are coming out and they're limited to one pair per customer. Why do you need two pairs? One to rock and one to stock. Yeah, baby. One to rock, one to stock. Can this drip broker find someone who could do custom clothing for, say, a superhuman size person? I just wanted to thank all of my beloved Titaniacs for helping me I'm over it. I really am. So <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, this episode is kind of interesting. My boy, Alonzo, the drip broker, he sent me. This is a boba cafe. We're not Chinese. What is that, Chinese? I'm not Chinese. I said we're not cops. And I said it in Chinese. 
Cantonese. Mandarin. Or Cantonese. I find it out. Okay. Uh. Come to the back. Yeah, baby. This kind of hustle. Okay. What do you need? I got everything. Ah. Oh. America Shield. Cool. Or Hammer. Avengers T-shirt. This is this is Avengers. You don't like Avengers? I got Avengers. Oh, with an eye. I kind of like this. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll buy one of your Avengers T-shirts. And a matching hat. Yes, of course. I want to complete the ensemble. <laughs> Avengers. Hi. I wanted to talk to you about making clothing for my client. Can I have a referral? Actually, my client is an Avenger. She's one of the top tier ones, sir. Yes. 15 minute consultation. My assistant will set up the appointment. Who is this? I'm so excited. Is everything all right, sir? He's pissed about the She Hulk stuff. No. Why did I pass a billboard on Santa Monica Boulevard today advertising a She Hulk booty boost smoothie? So the name She Hulk was never really mine officially. Everyone in the media just started calling me that. But now this incredibly awful, slightly super powered woman, yeah, right, Titania. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop you because, you know, none of that's my concern. No one hires a firm that can't handle its own messes. Don't fire her. I am going to fix this, sir. <laughs> no, you won't. Don't. Well, I'm sorry. Why didn't you trademark your own pseudonym? I never even thought about it. You know, why would I? Uh, Did Doctor Strange have to trademark his name? Did Thor? You chose two examples of people who use their real names. Mm -hmm. Good point, right? But if you're going to be my client, you need to dress like you respect yourself and not like a football player pleading no contest to a DUI. Nikki? Yeah. Wasn't lurking. I was close by. You obviously spend a lot of time thinking about what you're going to wear. Why don't you help me? <laughs> uh, I'm actually already on top of that. I got you a consultation with the guy who makes clothing for superheroes. Oh, I don't think I really need that. You do? Yeah. Oh. Dude, I'm excited, even though this is a B storyline for sure. I like it. As you will see, there are no issues of fact here that would require proceeding to trial. Since the first public appearance of Jennifer Walters in her Hulk form, the public has unanimously identified her with the name She Hulk. In fact, the name She Hulk had not even been recorded in public discourse until that debut. In order to sell her non FDA approved sham products. Why don't you try telling that to the thousands of testimonials from my fans who have had nothing but amazing results with my exclusive line of She-Hulk foot exfoliants, which I just so happen to have a little sample of and offer into evidence. Thank you. If we may. I will not answer to that name. You know why? Because it's not my name. My name never has been and never will be She-Hulk. How did you come up with the name She-Hulk? Some random guy on the news came up with it, but it stuck. Uh, so now whether I like it or not, I am forever She-Hulk. My client clearly stated that she is She-Hulk. Well, this is just one instance. Can you prove a, a pattern of Miss Walter's personal use of the name? Yes, Your Honor, we definitely have more to present. Oh my God. Is the Hag convention in town? <laughs> what? Luke, Nikki Ramos. My client list is very exclusive because my work is impeccable. Well, like I told you before, She-Hulk is going to be one of the Avengers. You said she was one. It hasn't been announced yet because they're still working at the deal and stuff, but basically she's an Avenger. The Hulk is her cousin. By blood? Yeah. And she is going to be a megastar. Okay, what kind of superheroing do you do? Do you need... Built-in weaponry, waterproofing, fire resistance. Oh, no, I, I I don't actually need a suit like that. I just need a business suit. Everything I make stands up to the highest combat standards. I don't make basic shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't really need any of that. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Please get out. OK, but she needs a suit that's going to fit her both as Jen and as She-Hulk, something that would require a lot of telling. Can we go ahead and show them? All the way down, small, impish, large, 
Super. Do you think you could design a suit that would adapt to both of my bodies? Tinsley, order extra bolts of the stretch wool. We're going to need a lot of fabric. <laughs> Why do you have to be so mean? Oh, no. Do you remember that date I went on with the guy, uh, the fetish? I know her. Of course you do. Creepy and disgusting. Hi, uh, Todd, right? She Hulk? I didn't know you worked here. Yeah, are you a client? Or... I am. I'm one of the biggest. Yeah. Just had a meeting with my favorite lady lawyer. No touching. We should, um, yeah, we should reconnect soon. Yeah, absolutely. That would be great. Yeah, yeah, drinks on me. Okay. Why do they always have the shittiest fucking men in this show? You rolled over so quickly. So quickly. But the drinks are on him, girl. So quickly. Yeah, I There's an understanding of yeah, no using like your I status as a beautiful know. woman to get free drinks right there. Yo, bro, went on a date with She-Hulk. Mm. Oh my God. What? You went on a date with She-Hulk? Yeah. Because I made a dating profile as She-Hulk yeah. and went on several dates as She-Hulk, showing job. a clear pattern of using the name. Every single one of those dates is a corroborating witness. This is how I win this case by parading all the questionable men that you dated in front of a courtroom. Oh, Jen, that's an embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> My client used She-Hulk, not as a name to exploit in order to sell product, but as a genuine part of her identity. As you can see in the About Me section. My client wrote, and I quote, mean green and straight poured into these jeans. Ew. <laughs> and to answer the question, what are you looking for in a partner? My client wrote, a sturdy back and reinforced king-size bed. JK, JK, JK. We'd like to call our witnesses. <laughs> so. Would you have gone on the date if She-Hulk had instead presented as Jennifer Walters? Uh, look, I, I don't mean to be rude, but no. She's uh, not really my type, but She-Hulk, she's, uh, She-Hulk's incredible. She's amazing. He's such a good looking dude and he was nice about it, but that's still kind of a mean thing in to light say. Of this new testimony, the court finds in favor of Jennifer Walters, AKA She-Hulk. Motion for summary judgment is granted. Hey, Titania. What? I'm so sorry that happens. He should get into later. Fine, you can buy me things. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, come buy me things. Look, Walters, what that extremely attractive man said in there, you can do better. You deserve better. Can I buy you a drink to uh, say thanks? Sure. Everything that She-Hulk brings to the table, and those guys were my best option. You can have literal superpowers, and some guy with an internet connection will still think he can do better. Yes! Oh my god! The things we put up with? I am so happy we're friends now. We're not friends. What? Did I? Did I just say that out loud? Thanks for the drink. They always show her, like, looking up like she's this powerful woman. I thought you were getting better clothes. Oh, yeah, my clothes. I'm really interested in what she's hey, going to be wearing. I made you a little something extra. Oh, wow. I, I don't know that I'll really have an occasion. Just say thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Hello, you should be left out in the open. Tinsley, does client confidentiality mean I bet it's... Oh, dude, it's a Daredevil helmet. God damn it, we're not gonna see the outfit. Guys, that was my reaction. This is my thoughts. Now that I've toned down my expectations for what this show has kind of given me in terms of, like, the heights of its importance of the storyline. It's actually a very personal sitcom-like storyline about... A woman in her 30s navigating her career in the dating world and dealing with maybe the pressures of finding a relationship. Also, the fun part of the storyline is she's a She-Hulk. I can buy into that. And maybe the production should have 
a lot of people to know that. I mean, it was a, it's a good thing it's on Disney Plus because it wouldn't be an interesting movie for the people who, you know, are used to the big ones like Endgame, Spider-Man, No Way Home, Far From Home, those movies. One of the biggest blessings in this episode is we had Chad come back. Chad is a great man and I want to see the heights that he accomplishes in his career. That's what's interesting to me is I want to see Chad, the loser, succeed. I mean, he's already succeeding. He is now a manager and he's rising fast. He's a fast riser. Funny enough, the, the fashion designer, Luke, I think it's interesting that there would be a market for people like him because I don't think there's enough people to make these uh, outfits for because they're all probably very private, uh, reclusive people. And you know, Thor, I mean, I'm just trying to think like, maybe, I don't, I don't really know, maybe during the snap, the idea that, you know, maybe there are people who are trying to become vigilantes I just don't think he could uh, really have a successful business. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, Iron Man made his own shit. Thor, he had his own shit. Same thing with Captain America. I'm trying to think, you know, Hulk obviously didn't know him. Probably would have made his own shit too. Yeah, so that, that my, I, I like the character and he's funny. He's that snobbish, stuck up, uh, arrogant fashion designer. And I thought it was hilarious, I liked him. Now, you know, I've said this before in the pre-talk, you know, because my kids watch this show. It's interesting to me, like the hypersexualization, you know, the tender swiping and the stuff in her tender profile. I mean, I thought it was funny as an adult and it's supposed to be embarrassing to her in court. But you know, they wanted, you know, someone with a sturdy back with a reinforced king size bed. Uh, yeah, I thought that was funny, but it's, it's questionable to me, honestly. I was really into the fact that, you know, she was getting sued for her trademark. It's such a B, small B storyline compared to everything else that's happened. Uh, some people might think that's a breath of fresh air. Some of my friends think this is the worst uh, show that they've come up with. Uh, they might be right, but it's a really high bar. And this being the worst show is still a good show compared to most shows. I really hope Tony Stark's wife and daughter, I hope their estate is getting the royalties from the Iron Man 3s and all the other Iron Man merch. One to rock, one to stock. I've definitely said that before. Uh, I just usually can't afford to do that. Uh, I kind of did that with my action figures. I get one to rock, one to stock. And I got one to stock for the case of value went up. I want to keep something in the case. And sometimes I did it because when I was younger, I want to play with it. And then when I've played with it so much or it broke, uh, and if it was a figure that I really liked, I would just open up the second box that I bought. Titania was definitely representative of, I mean, it was kind of hyperbolous, her character in a way. She was that super glamorous socialite, entitled, rich girl, valley girl, uh, with that accent and things like that. W one thing that the show talks about with, like, you know, Jen in the dating world, they always, you know, show, like, these kind of shitty men. In this particular case, it almost made it funny. Like, because they all had to represent her in court. And it was kind of like uh, the guy maybe in that second or third episode, that dick who worked at her old law firm. I guess my thing is, is you should never have a low bar for yourself. You know, her lawyer, well, like, how does one evaluate one's self-worth in the dating world? Because we all know that there is a pecking order in life. And I guess if you talk to, like, maybe an evolutionary psychologist or a sex specialist, uh, someone who, I guess, looks at the data and studies these things, generally speaking... Men desire youth and beauty, and generally speaking, women desire status and wealth. And and then there's a practice of hypergamy, you know, just trying to be with someone uh, in a higher social class. And those things are real. I'm wondering what the standards are, you know what I mean? Like, I think those guys that she dated were, were obviously dicks. And the one guy that, you know, she didn't know very well and went home with and ended up being kind of an asshole because he wasn't interested in the real Jen Walters. I guess the question is, who's the real Jen Walters? Is she Hulk and Jen the same person? I mean, you can argue that maybe she kind of misrepresented herself or wasn't upfront at first, but I still think he handled it the wrong way. Uh, he was nice in court, but I thought he was a little kind of an asshole and blunt the way he said, like, she's not my type. What is her type and realistically evaluating herself? Is it because she's a superhero? Is, does that mean that now she should be able to have anyone she wants? I, I'm just wondering how one does that. And the only reason I say that is because she was you know, in the bar after the court case, laughing and drinking, and they were both talking about how other guys are pathetic because the sky's the limit for her. So, yeah, I, I just want to see that in practice, I guess. What does that mean? The storyline of her assistant and that one lawyer who works also in the law firm, can't remember his name, the kind of the good-looking dude. Them just trying to find more merch, them just trying to obviously find a, a superhero outfit for her, talking to Luke. 
Uh, I, I enjoyed that storyline quite a bit. I like seeing them together. I thought it was fun. And I like the idea of there, there being this funny Asian bootleg guy who has a little place in the back behind his that bubble tea shop. Anyways, guys, it sounded like I was critiquing the episode, but if you watch my reaction, I actually genuinely liked it. But I'm trying to break down, like, you know, the writing and the messaging behind it, and maybe it sounds like I'm complaining. I actually really like the show. I don't think it's our best, but I, my expectations for what it's trying to accomplish within the MCU is they're not trying to affect the entire MCU. This is not a game-changing thing. But they did show the Daredevil helmet. So the Daredevil, he's coming. And we also are, I'm wondering what her new suit looks like. And we, we caught a glimpse of one of them. And then he had something zipped up for her. So I'm wondering what that is. If you're going to hide it like that and then have it at the end of the episode not show it, then I think you're kind of building up hype and expectations for it. So I hope it's cool. Anyways, guys, sorry this is late. I was on vacation. I'm going to try to have this out as soon as I can. Uh, I'm going to be running a little late on some of these because i got to do a few things to catch up. But I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you enjoyed my post-talk. And I hope I, you know, wasn't really offensive. I wasn't trying to be. Just giving you guys my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you'd like us, support us on Patreon. All right? Have a good one. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching the reaction and sticking around for my review. Uh, I appreciate you so much. And like I said, support us on Patreon if you like us enough. Make sure you go to social media, Twitter, Instagram. You can also push that thanks button. And by the way, leave a comment. That really helps. Peace out.